Hello again and welcome back on Eurosat Renews. I'm very happy to welcome Niraj Gupta. Good morning. Very good morning. Thank you for being here with us. It's my pleasure as well. Thank you, uh, Madam. You're the managing director of MKU. MKU is a global defense and homeland security company, and you have a very inspiring logo, slogan, which is empowering heroes. What does it mean? Basically, it means that we are all about empowering heroes, heroes who are out there to protect us, to save us, to give us better life. and. We try to empower them through our knowledge, through our products, through our technologies. All right, so let's go back into really the core of uh, what MKU is doing. Tell us more about how you empower those heroes. We make uh, Kavro platform protection. We make Kavro soldier systems. Under Kavro soldier systems, we do helmets, body armor, shields. Under platform protection, we do harming of helicopter, ships, and boats. We do Netro Soldier Optronics. We try to turn dark into day for our soldiers by equipping them with their latest uh, range of electro-optics devices that we are displaying out here. And lastly, we have added at Otro platform intelligence system. Again, uh, for it is mission critical to empower the soldiers uh, doing missions uh, on the vehicles. Can you give us maybe a, a very concrete example of one of your of one of your products that might have changed actually the life of the soldier on the ground actually there are many uh, in fact we have been getting compliments from soldiers in india uh, where our kavro uh, kavro soldier system the body armor plates they have been able to save their lives we got the same uh, response from uh, a soldier in philippines it saved the life so it really makes us feel proud that what we do is really empowering our heroes who are out there in the uh, adverse conditions uh, to perform their duties. So MKU is a company from India. It is also a family business. Can you share a little bit about the history, about your oh, history? It, it's a very, very, very uh, touchy subject. Uh, the company started uh, in 1985 by my father and my elder brother. Uh, by that time, we were not a defense company. But the defense business started in 1989 uh, by making helmets. Then we moved on to shoes, snow boots. And then in 1999, India bought uh, three set, uh, a large amount of composite body armor from three European companies. And that was the time we said, oh, we have to equip our soldiers with lightweight latest uh, composite body armor. And MKU was the first company to bring the technology of lightweight composite armor into India. And today, I would say uh, that was a beginning. And in 2003, we started uh, our international operations. Uh, we started equipping uh, Spanish Army with our uh, body armor plates. And today, we have uh, g given protection to more than 3 million soldiers in more than 100 countries. 230 forces are using equipment from MKU. And we really f feel proud about it. Uh, apart from that, we have operations in Germany, uh, we have operations in uh, Emirates, and we are look expanding at operations in various other countries as well. Uh, being from India, do you have a natural also expansion in, in Asia? Do you have a major, uh, major clients in Asia? Oh yes, uh, we have uh, clients in uh, Japan, we have uh, equipped uh, helicopters of the Korean Armed Forces, uh, we have been doing regular business with Philippine Armed Forces, uh, we have done business with Singapore Army and Police, uh, Indonesia, so Sri Lanka, Nepal, so yes, so a lot, lot of uh, Vietnam as well. So I would say almost every country in Asia is also our client, and we feel proud of it. So it's all about uh, R and D, I suppose, all about bringing uh, innovation to make better, uh, better equipment. How much? What does R and D represent for MKU? Uh, we have a team of almost like uh, 50 engineers working on different uh, Kavros, uh, Kavro protection solutions and Netro Optronics. So they work continuously to equip. The ethos behind MKU is uh, Smart Trinity. We look at smart design, smart technology and functionality. So our team is always constantly looking for the challenges that our heroes, our soldiers, our policemen are facing 
and we try to deliver those solutions to them. So that's our core, what we do as our R&D. And uh, that's the major part of MKU. At MKU, is everything design, process, produced in India? It's, as I said, we have three uh, locations. It's India, Germany, and Emirates. Depending on the customer's uh, proximity, depending on the capacity, we use these three locations to serve all our customers. So you can cover different markets uh, exactly, from, exactly. from the Emirates? From, yes. uh, like from for Germany. example, most of the European clients, we try to serve from our facility in Germany. Naturally. Yeah. Uh, how is it in the, in the term of competition? Is it a fierce competition in the field? My, my view is that competition is there in every business, but I believe the way MKU does its uh, product development and by really interacting with the end users directly, I think what we develop for the customers is they really like us and uh, I think we try to serve the customer, but it's a normal competition, I would say. So with the, uh, wh wh what's your view and what's your take on, on the context? Because so far in Asia, compared to what is happening in Europe. We, are, we don't see any state-to-state -state war. We are still enjoying peace. Threats are there in Asia as well. So how, how do you see the situation in Asia? What, what's, your, what's your view on, on the ge geopolitical situation? I don't know whether I'm an expert on uh, commenting on this, but I would say whatever is happening right now in Europe, I think um, everybody is learning a lesson. Uh, we can see the increase in the budget of uh, our defense equipment buying all over the world. That's a trend. So, and we want to really serve to the needs of the end users. That's our mission. And we want to constantly keep working on that. Uh, you're obviously a, a defense company, but I can see your equipment also very uh, well suited for, uh, I don't know, humanitarian missions or also for uh, firefighter. Do you have any other markets? Uh, for the UN mission, yes, we are currently supply. We have in the past supplied body armor to UN forces. Currently, we are running a contract for helmets with UN forces. Uh, but for the firefighters, I don't think so. Our equipments are really uh, meant for those applications. But yes, for uh, uh, special forces, for homeland security, they are our uh, clients as well. So what are you? Um, so you're here now for a week. You flew from India to Paris. You're there for a week. What do you expect from uh, from this 2022 edition? Uh, I think it's a great show after a long time. First of all, it's very encouraging to see so many people here at the show. We are expecting a lot of end users coming, and we are there to listen to them what their needs are, what are the challenges that they are facing. And I have a team of my technical guys also here with me. And I would like my technical guys directly to interact with the end users, to find the right solution for their problems as far as armor protection is concerned, or soldier optronics is concerned, or platform optronics is concerned. Or, as we said, we have a new uh, product developed as Otro Intelligence Platform, again to equip them for their missions. So we are here to listen to the end users. Do you have any equipment on display that we can see to your booth? Yes, we, have, we are exhibiting here uh, with a complete range of equipments. And I would like to welcome you and to others uh, to come and have a look at them. All right, so we will definitely go and meet you at your booth to see uh, your equipment. And uh, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you, madam. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much. It's thank a you. pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.